Describe the effect of different ligands on the splitting of d orbitals. Well, I'm going to start by drawing out just uh, the electron configuration for copper. So argon, 4s1, 3d10. Remember, that's one of those weird ones. Uh, copper and chromium are the, are the weird ones. Putting in arrows to represent the electrons. Following Aufbau, Hund, and Pauli rules. Now, I need, I need to make it into an iron because complexes need irons, at least in this part of the syllabus. So I've knocked off the electron from the fourth shell, the valence shell, to make a copper 1 plus iron. Water is behaving like ligands. It has a lone pair of electrons capable of making a dative covalent bond. with a central transition metal iron, or atom, and I've coloured those in purple. Now those ligands, those water molecules, cause the d orbital to split. The ligands cause the metal iron d block orbitals to split. It's a 3-2 split. If I was to shine light through it, oh, actually in this case, nothing happens. For a colour to be seen, you need a partially filled d orbital, and this d orbital is completely full. There is no room for an electron to be promoted from the lower to the higher. Well, what does that matter? Well, we'll find out in a second. But a partially filled d orbital is what we need if we're going to have a coloured complex. So what colour is no colour then? Uh, well, colourless, or you could say no colour, or white. Sometimes confusingly black, but we'll stick with no colour or white. Let's reset this little experiment. Uh, and there's copper again. I'm going to make it copper 2+, plus, putting off a couple of electrons there. Ah, now I have a partially filled d orbital. And that's going to give me coloured complexes. So I'm going to bring the water ligands in again. Now you, I could use ammonia, I could use hydroxide, chloride, cyanide. All of these are different ligands that will split the d orbitals in different ways and give different colours. Again, in purple purplish pink is the dative covalent bonds. The d orbital split is a 3-2 split. And now when I put light through, oh, some of the lights disappeared. So this is going to look blue. I shone all the colours in at the beginning, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and only a few colours came out, the bluey colours came out. So this will appear blue. So what happened to that energy? Well, it shakes those electrons around and one of them may be promoted from the lower to a high energy level and that took energy and that was the energy of that light so that's what happened to the light it was removed by the action of putting an electron up to a high energy level now we might ask you what colors we'll tell you what colors absorbed and you have to tell us what color the compound is or vice versa so here's the trick Roy G Biff put them in a, a circle all the colors I don't have blue indigo and violet on my active board so I put B, I, and V. If orange is absorbed, then your compound will appear kind of bluish. It's opposite. If green's absorbed, then my compound will appear kind of violety reddish. So whatever color's absorbed, look across the color wheel to see the other color. It's called the complementary color, and that's the color of your complex.